I'm studying the political history and present day realities of reproductive justice and reproductive health care. Um, and in doing so, I want to take a look at um, access to contraception, to sexual education, and also uh, women and trans people's um, safe and affordable access to abortion. Um, so there's a lot, I, it's a huge project and there are a lot of different factors that I'm extremely interested in about it. Like there's this crazy historical context to it that is, you know, it's like wrapped up in the Cold War and globalization and neoliberalism and all of these things that we wouldn't usually think about birth control being a part of that I'm that I really want to get into. And then there's a really practical part that I'm interested in, which is like, you know, what what is an abortion? At what stage? Where can you get them? What are the politics that have led us to this point? And what are people's attitudes about them now? And what are people's experiences who have had them? So I'm also interested um, in people's ethnographies and stories about their experiences um, on these topics. Um, the next part of my project is that I want to make a small book. Um, that kind of condenses and translates academic language into more accessible terms so that people who maybe don't have um, access to this kind of information or who maybe know a little bit and want to know more um, can do so easily um, just because I've found myself foraging um, and I would really like to consolidate those projects um, which leads me to why Goddard was I think so far a good idea <laughs> um, for me is that I'm in the interdisciplinary, or sorry, individualized studies program, um, which gives me space to look at all of these things and consider all of these factors um, and co combine them. Um, so I guess that that was my, my primary thing is that a lot of the other programs mostly I think women's studies programs are great, but the ones that I was looking at for particularly this project seemed a bit stifling, um, whereas I'm very pleased to have the space to, to work on this project in this way. Um, the low residency is also huge for me, uh, that I don't have to abandon the rest of my life. Um, so I like that holistic approach to education as well.